the member from Essex. Thank you very much, Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Economic Development, Employment and Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Speaker, this government speaks about economic growth, but it is so out of touch with Ontarians that it doesn't even realize that millions of people are being left behind. This government failed to meet its job creation goals last year, not once, but twice. They failed to create more than 32,000 jobs that they themselves had forecast in last year's budgets. For nearly two years, Windsor and Essex County has remained among the top regions with the highest unemployment rate in the country, and Windsor also has the highest youth unemployment rate in the country for the fifth straight month. Minister, my question, Speaker, my question is simple. What will it take before this government stands up for Ontarians instead of prioritizing its powerful insider friends? Well, thank, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and, and I thank the member for the question. And look, the fact of the matter is, Mr. Speaker, since uh, since the recession, we've created 608,000 net new jobs, all full time in this province. The challenge we have, though, Mr. Speaker. And the member's not completely off base. The challenge we have is there are regions in this country that were hit harder during the global recession than other regions. That's why, Mr. Speaker, we've created the Southwest Ontario Development Fund and the Eastern Ontario Development Fund. That's why, Mr. Speaker, we partner with companies, many in the Windsor area, to create much needed jobs there, in particular manufacturing jobs. That's why, Mr. Speaker, we partner closely with the auto sector, many of uh, those jobs being created in southwestern Ontario. That's why we we have very good relations with companies like Chrysler, Mr. Speaker, who just recently announced 12, 12 new jobs uh, in the Chrysler plant there. Mr. Speaker, there's more work to do. We're up. Thank you. Message sent, I hope. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Time and time again, and as we've just seen, this government toasts itself on a job well done, but Ontarians feel the service cuts. They feel the job losses and the increase in energy costs. View plant in Toronto. These are not just numbers, Speaker. They are real people with real lives. They are families that are forced to start all over again. Minister, when will your government stand up for hardworking Ontarians and make meaningful change in their lives and in this province? Question, thank you, Minister. Mr. Speaker, this government has always and will continue to stand up for hardworking Ontarians, Mr. Speaker. That's why it's so important for us to make $130 billion worth of investment in our infrastructure, something that your leader doesn't support, uh, Mr. Speaker. But we'll continue to make those important investments. But we also will stand up for those communities that are struggling. And that's why, Mr. Speaker, we are proud to make a $3.5 million investment in London, uh, nearly $30 million. Uh, at, in, in all in private sector uh, funds uh, created uh, uh, with 1,400 jobs. That's why in, in, in Windsor, Mr. Speaker, we're proud to invest $4.5 million, leveraging $22 million in jobs and creating or sustaining over 420. In Essex, your own riding, Mr. Speaker, why our Southwest Ontario Development Fund invested a $1 million, leveraging $7 Answer. million dollars and creating sustaining $513 million. Mr. Speaker, I point to these examples. They're examples of many. I have a long list of examples where Thank we have you. gone to bat for the people of Windsor. Thank you. New